What's up everybody and welcome back to the channel. I'm your host Chef Goat and if I could please get you guys to like, comment, subscribe, turn on notifications and most importantly spread the word. Tell your friends about us and tell them to come on down and sub to the Goat Nation. We're going to watch the intro and then we're going to talk about the Resident Evil uh, survivor game here. Very cool opening cinematics. Got a jock. Nerd. Token black guy. Woo! Woo! Oh my goodness. And the goth chick. Or rebel chick. Oh! Dang! Oh! Oh my goodness. Ah, he's doomed. How's he not dead? Oh, come on, really? Woo! Woo! You suck, girl! Well, at least a shot he got him. Oh, shit. Oh, we know what's about to happen now. God dang. X, go give it to you. Woo! Yeah, y'all doomed. Y'all doomed! They doomed. Trust me, they doomed. <laughs> All right, guys. So this game is a very intensish multiplayer game. Uh, welcome to Raccoon City. Here you'll be taking phase eight of Human Experiment 1242B to gather further data on virus mutations. Blah, 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 subjects. Within our classified research facilities, you will expose them to a series of increasingly violent situations in short intervals to simulate mutation by invoking fear and terror. Uh, you work here to vital and realizing his vision. Uh, with your extreme caution, leave no trace of experience, no survivors. We look forward to your data, I guess. I don't know. Resident Evil Resistance. There we go. That's the name of the game. And this is an online only game, um, as far as I'm aware. Um, I don't have uh, PlayStation Network right now, so I can't give you guys actual gameplay. But I want to use this time to kind of talk about the game and the Resident Evil franchise in general. So while we just kind of look at everything that's on here and just kind of go through stuff. Um, Okay, you got daily missions, kind of like DVD. Uh, again, it's going to be like a vlog type video, so I hope you guys enjoy it. Um, and here we go. Uh, so basically, you can either be a mastermind, be a net, uh, William Birkin's uh, wife. Kind of a good chick, kind of a bad chick, kind of depends on your view. Uh, Whereas William is definitely a bad dude, he, and he is a bad mamma jamma. Um, Daniel, who I've never heard before, um, Spencer Faber says Alex with her research building facilities can have perceptions. He has a knack for controlling creatures and thrill of the kill. Okay, and then we have Alex Wesker, which I was familiar that. Albert Wesker had a sister, but yeah, didn't know much about her. Carrying out experiments, finding a sponsor, Mr. Oswald E. Spencer, her acute foresight, blah, 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 bioweapon. And then you have Mr. Spencer himself, Oswell. Um, he is one of the founding members of uh, Resident Evil. Or, you know, Umbrella, if you will. And he has a field general. Is that like from the movie, the, the laser field? I don't know, but if so, that's kind of cool. Hopefully they'll add more uh, uh, masterminds, because this is kind of limited. I mean, I, I could have seen even Albert Wesker in this, you know, or something. Then you have survivors. You got the nerd girl, Valerie. Uh, January, the rebel girl. Tyrone, the token black man. Uh, Samuel, the jock, I'm assuming. Martin, the little Jewish boy, I guess. And Becca, the um, Dukes of Hazard 
slutty girl, I guess. <laughs> Countryside, yes, f farm, yes. So she definitely dukes the hazard. Um, and it looks like they have uh, cosmetics that you can get for them, which is kind of cool. You got dances and emojis. Okay, that's kind of cool. You can have equipments that are all based on skills and upgrading. Um, she is a firearms expert. He's a trap expert. He's a brawler. He likes, uh, I guess, to hand-to-hand -hand combat. And same with Tyrone here. She is the hacker, which from the gameplay I've seen, she is used heavily. And so is uh, Valerie here, who's the healer. The, you know, little healer nerd girl. <clears throat> Anyhow, um, then you have maps. Oh, you can't, I can't look at the maps. Uh, they have a pretty, you know, decent selection of maps. Um, obviously, you can buy stuff, I'm assuming. Um... Yeah. Oh, you get certain things from ranking up. I see that. Okay. I'm just kind of looking at everything. I guess we'll do the tutorial here in a minute, but... <clears throat> wanted to get into uh, something I, I left out in the end of the Resident Evil 3 Nemesis series. Is that... Um, we were talking about the pros and the cons of this remake um, one of the pros being you know just awesome graphics uh, intense gameplay at times uh, very true to the original Resident Evil franchise um, it, it was a well done game I I, I, I even though I gave it a, a, a 6 out of 10 which is pretty darn low for me um, I still still feel like it, it had some really good positive notes. Overall, though, it was short. Um, the replayability is not really there because there's not different scenarios like uh, in Resident Evil 2 Remake. Um, the dodging system is whack, in my opinion. It works sometimes, you know? You gotta do it in just the right perfect moment. Um... So far, there is no other cosmetics that you can get, which is sad. Um, something that I, <clears throat> I didn't bring up before that I wanted to bring up is if you guys have played the original Resident Evil 3 uh, Nemesis, there was these little uh, decisions that you can make. You know, either run through the alley or face the, you know, Nemesis. Um, that, you know, would change the outcome of the game slightly kind of like if you guys have ever read uh goosebumps before you know you could you know decide your own fate by choosing chapter you know three or going somewhere else and having to skip chapters and it would lead to different outcomes very similar um and i like that aspect that they did not bring into the remake very sad also um Something else that uh, bothered me ab about the game was um, that it, it did not have as much to do with the original as I was hoping. Um, mainly in the, the cutscenes. The cutscenes to me were really bland, especially the opening cutscene where... In the original, you got to see the mercenaries, the UBCs come in, and the cops come in, and them get slaughtered, right? Um, although the opening cinematic with Jill was pretty cool, and they had some tie-ins to the original in that, um, you know, it, it just, it lacked luster after that. I mean, also Brad, I don't like the fact that Brad just got, you know, a, a stars member even though technically he is a pilot and his name is chicken heart you know uh nickname he he should have died by nemesis if anything 
you know, the way he did in the original. Not by, to, you know, frickin' zombie bite. I mean, come on. I know he got bit by a zombie, but he didn't turn into a zombie from a zombie bite. He, he died and became a zombie from Nemesis shoving his tentacle thing through his face hole. You know? Um, and Jill witnessed that, you know? But, again, these are my opinions... You know, you don't have to agree with them. You can just, you know, hear them out and, you know, debate with me, if you will. Um, I was disappointed in that. I was disappointed in that Nikolai didn't die in, in a a reasonable fashion. I mean, you just see him at the end of the game. Spoilers, by the way, if you haven't watched the uh, last episode. Um, he gets left if you shoot him. He, he's just, he's got a, you know, flesh wound and he's left to, you know, his own demise on the roof while the nukes come in. And, um, that is kind of stupid. I liked, in the original, how Nemesis freaking guts his ass. That, to me, was a lot cooler. And, um, I like that a hell of a lot better. Um, but, you know, th those are little things. Again, the, the game felt rushed to me. It felt like if they just put a little bit more effort into it and pushed it back maybe a year, you know, that they could have added a lot more and done a lot more. Hopefully there's DLCs. Um, hopefully they bring back in the DLCs the Mercenaries mode, if it isn't already there. I have not yet uh, completed the game in... Uh, uh, hard mode or whatever uh, the, the 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 hardest not the hardest mode I know there's a nightmare mode but I I haven't uh, done anything but assisted I, I did try to do hard mode and failed because I, I at the very very end boss fight I did not have enough healing sprays and it's just with only your handgun at your side and even even when I uh, use the automatic, uh, the unlimited ammo machine gun that I I got, um, which is, you know, weak as hell against the boss, which I thought was stupid, um, I couldn't do it. The, the dodging system is still so whack in that, and um, I, I couldn't I couldn't do it. So what I'm currently doing is playing it again with all the unlimited ammo stuffs and what I'm gonna do is try to do it uh, without using a lot of med sprays and hopefully at the end have like six med sprays to use and then hopefully complete and then I'll get those achievements hopefully have enough to get the unlimited ammo rocket launcher and you know, yeah but even then it's like I don't enjoy playing it as much as I thought I would you know replayability wise um, there's nothing new to it um, the enemies are harder but there's nothing different and I know nightmare mode switches it up but I gotta get there first and you know that's just kind of shitty uh, let's do tutorial on survival angle your camera down but yeah, guys, I, uh, I I really feel like they could have done a lot better with the remake. Okay. Three areas of the facility. Mastermind, okay. Fight for more time to survive. Oh, awesome. At least the controls are what you expect. Ram open the locked door. Okay. Go to the puzzle lock. Oh, okay. Okay. Find the missing puzzle piece. Yes, robot Each lady. Each character has a unique personal skill. Use Valerie's to mark nearby items. Okay. Find the missing puzzle piece. Attach the puzzle piece to the puzzle lock. Okay. So in each one there's three, Assembly and you got it's obviously not that quick. Um, Look for the security guard zombie. 
It will be carrying the security card. The, the, you know, layout's pretty cool looking so far. What's this? Okay. Defeat the security guard zombie by attacking its unprotected head or back. Pick up the security card. Okay. Unlock the security device. Use the map to locate it. Oh, I gotta hold it. Okay. Head to the exit. Yes, ma'am. I'm going. Oh, hello. Your teammate is oh. near death. Oops. Help him. Hey, buddy. I'm gonna rub your booty. You like that? Yeah, you like that. Valerie's little... fever skill can heal injured survivors. Boom. Head okay. to the exit. All right. Pick up the umbrella credits. Ooh, lightning hot. Huh? Wait, where are the credits? Oh. Buy a more powerful weapon from the armory. Okay, I guess I'm buying the uh, lightning hawk, which Equip is Equip cool. your new weapon. There we go. Leave the safe room. Okay. Find and destroy the red bio core. Now what I've seen in the gameplay of this... Oh, jeez. You have been infected. Yeah, I Find get that. Find a blue worm. Um... <laughs> Is good players, the which there's already good players in the game, have uh, like gen rushers and DVD. Find and destroy the red bio core. Um, rush the objectives in this, and the matchmaking's really unbalanced, and um, unfortunately, uh, a lot of people are getting owned as as the mastermind because of survivors final exit unlocked activate the switch to open it because of you know experienced enough players doing this that they're just getting wrecked and even if i had the opportunity to play this online i, I doubt i would just because survive until the final exit oh, great. is open because I don't like the fact that it's really unbalanced for the mastermind. You know, I like balance in games, and you know, to me that's. Final exit opens in ten seconds. Okay. Oh. The final exit is open. All right. <laughs> yes. Woo, suckers. Freedom! Then get shot in the head. That would be our irony. End of tutorial. Cool. Um, now the mastermind we'll do here in a minute. But yeah, uh, I've seen uh, lab rat achievement. Cool, I guess. Um, I've seen people get owned, and and good YouTubers too. You know, they're getting owned. Especially in their live streams, the things that they don't show in their YouTube videos because they only show, you know, people doing good, you know? <laughs> um, they don't show their, themselves getting butt whooped most of the time. There is one YouTuber that I've seen show shows himself getting butt whooped and that to me is, you know, like, why would you show that? I don't know. But, uh, yeah, it... it it, this game has the potential to be awesome. It really does. Um, but it just so far is not very good. Try moving the camera to look at your surroundings. I mean, it, it, it looks good. Use the map to switch to the other camera. Okay. It looks good. It has a great basis Spawn for a, a game. Spawn a zombie at the indicated location. Okay. But just is really unbalanced and whoa, wonky cameras. Really wonky. 
I don't like the, the movement of the cameras. It's slow and wonky. Can't spawn anything. Control else. the zombie. Okay. Attack the survivor. This is kind of cool. Ah, eat your face. Ooh, that tastes good, big boy. Oh, just freaking. Seize controlling the zombie and return to camp. Survivors will there. respawn at the start of the area when killed. But the time they have remaining to escape will be drastically reduced. No, it isn't. I've What I've seen is. Like, the, the time is not drastically resumed. Place a trap reduced. at the indicated 30 location. seconds when they get two minutes plus um, is not good. Use them every, every, uh, you have, like, I think it is three areas to get past. And every time they get past an area, especially if they rush it, <clears throat> they get two minutes. That's bullcrap, guys. Um... Plus, again, the time they get for killing zombies and stuff. Ooh, I, I'm gonna play the timer. Attack the survivor. Oh! Now this is cool. Uh, pulverize! Oh yeah! Oh, I can squish his head. Watch. Ooh! Oh, kind of squishes. Countdown head. ended. Experiment successful. All right. End of tutorial. That was kind of cool. I would probably more rather play as the Mastermind than the Survivors. Um, but again, from what I've seen, it's it's really cutthroat. Look me in. Look at me. I'm the blank achievement. Okay. Um, I don't like the fact that you know people are already rushing the achievement, the the objectives. That it can be really one-sided that, you know, some of these survivors I've seen are just OP. Like, they get, you can't even lay enough zombies and traps and stuff down before they, you know, demolish you. And I think some that would help is if there was already uh, a selection of traps, zombies, and stuff on the map. Plus what you can add. You know what I'm saying? So that way you're not... Like, okay, where do I prep first? Where, how do I prep this? You know, um, you already have some stuff down. I know they have a little bit, but not a lot, you know, and that's not fair. These survivors come in hard and they come in strong and it just it is, is one-sided in my opinion. Um, but yeah, you know, if, if you guys would like me though to, uh, play some of this you know if I get enough support on it I might try it um, but that again will depend on you guys <clears throat> um, <clears throat> excuse me for the most part though I'm comfortable just watching other uh, youtubers play it and <clears throat> watching to see if it gets better god dang I need a lozenger <clears throat> I don't have the coronavirus trust me I don't I just smoke and allergies those two things together make for Jeff not breathing very well god dang could they have made her any sluttier I mean and you know like Dukes of Hazard looking you know come on Jewish boy jockey token black guy and, and what is he wearing that freaking outfit that just looks stupid I would see him in like a you know I don't know more or maybe less stereotypical stereotypical outfit like a you know track track outfit or something I don't know she looks cool she does look cool and she looks dumb especially the hair but that's just me anyways though guys um yeah I I, I like the fact they gave this to you for free. It is some extra to play. Um, I heard the wait time, though, is horrendous. Like most, you know, up-and-coming or controversial games. Um, you know, but only time will tell. 
you know, maybe uh, it's just you got to get good at the game to be good. You know, some games are skill based, um, but I don't think that this is necessarily balanced yet, and there's a bunch of kinks that need to be fixed. Um, they pulled some of the betas before it was even ready, so that tells me uh, that. They weren't ready to release this, but released it anyways, and yeah. I, I always go over quality over quantity, guys. Um, going back with the Resident Evil 3 remake, I think they should have pushed these games back another year and ironed out all the kinks, you know, added stuff, polished some stuff before releasing it because I think both of them could have been out of the gate a lot better than they have been and you know maybe they are to some people but not to me I, I really honestly believe that um, it was rushed you know they got the success from number two and were like oh my god we gotta jump on this now we're going head first get people in here let's just do it and they did it really quick you know, they didn't do a horrible job. They didn't. But if they do do another remake, I hope the next one is Resident Evil uh, Code Veronica X. And um, <clears throat> I hope they stay more true to that one than they have with number three. Number three, they, they got away from it a little bit and did some of their own ideas. And it, some of it worked, a lot of it didn't, in my opinion. Again... The new enemies, the new uh, areas and stuff were cool, but forgetting some of the old stuff, like the, again, what we talked about, the decision-making aspect, um, the awesome cinematics, um, the scenarios, the mercenaries, <clears throat> um, stuff like that really kind of made me sad, you know? that was what I really enjoyed and the fact that the replayability is not really there um, there there's no there's not a big deal getting an unlimited ammo uh, assault rifle that is the base one if it was the upgraded 60 bullet you know all the attachments one you know yeah I could see that you know? and again if uh, there was some more cosmetics, some more variations in the gameplay that you could do that wasn't Nightmare Mode. Um, yeah. I, I mean, I'm going to try to get Nightmare Mode just to see how good or not it is. Um, and again, I hope there's DLCs. I hope they bring the mercenaries into it. Um, you know, I hope there's stuff they add. But only time will tell on that. Um, and guys, I got something to say, uh, not that I haven't been saying a bunch, but I, I was thinking about doing a brief history in the Resident Evil franchise, going from, you know, zero to, what is it, eight, seven or eight, um, and talking about each game, my favorite things about each game, and not so favorite things, um, I thought about, you know, that that would be fun to do, but let me know down in the comments if you'd like to see that or not. Um, regardless, I'll probably do it, but I'd really like to know if you guys would like to uh, see more episodes like this where I'm kind of talking and maybe doing some game play stuff at the same time. But um, that's it for now. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Um, again... I, I, I hold higher hopes for both this game and um, uh, Resident Evil 3 Remake. Um, but only time will tell if those hopes are, you know, come to fruition or not. So, yeah. Be sure to drop a like and a comment, and I will see you guys in the next episode. I'm your host, Chef Goat, and I'm out. Peace.